Hey, Educator Barnes here, and welcome back to another book talk. I love doing book talks, and I keep getting requests to bring it back. So here I am. So this book that I'm going to talk about is We Are Not Like Them. This book is by two authors, Christine Pride and Joe Piazza. And I apologize if I mispronounced that last name. So my sister and I, we started reading books together during this year, um, 2022. Uh, this is our second book that we read together, and we really liked it. This particular book um, is written by two authors, and each author is writing from the viewpoint of one character. Um, you have LaRoya, uh, who goes by um, Riley, and you have Jenny, who goes by Jen. They also have nicknames for each other, Puff and Pony. And these two women, uh, one is black, just like uh, one of the authors here, uh, and one is white, uh, just like one of the um, authors of this book. And the author of this um, book, they are friends. Um, so they have a friendship and they have a professional um, working relationship. And I read an article in CNN that talked about the fact that this book really forced them to have conversations that even they hadn't had as a interracial friendship. So this book follows Riley um, Wilson, who is a black journalist and her friendship with Jen. And Jen is married to a cop named Kevin. And Kevin and his partner are involved in the shooting, which involves a black teenager. So you can already see just by the plot setting that there's going to be difficult conversations, difficult situations, especially as we know, when people are shot by the police, in particular um, Black people, um, it gets in the media. And with Riley being a journalist, it's, she's put in a position of, you know, what does she do in regards um, to her job? I give this book a 4.5 out of 5. Um, if you follow my um, website, educatorbarns.com, you know that I already did a written book review of this book. What I really loved about this book, a lot of books that talk about issues of race, many times they come off as preachy, as if they're telling you um, what to believe, telling you what to do. And this book didn't really do that. I love that it focused on the fact that uh, we don't have to be the same. Um, you think about the title, we are not like them. We don't have to be the same, but we can have really deep personal connections with people, even if we come from different racial backgrounds, have different career paths, have different love lives, um, which are all the things that are also covered in this um, book um, with these two women. So if you're looking for a book to read, I highly suggest this. Um, there are some parts of the book that wouldn't be appropriate for a younger uh, audience. So I would say, uh, well, definitely adults. Um, high school students, um, depending on um, parental, uh, you know, consent, advice, um, talk to your parents before reading it. But I do think there's some really good conversations and dialogue um, that high school students really could work their way through. And if I um, was teaching a course, I do teach some college courses. If I was teaching a course where I was um, picking books for people to read, because sometimes I do that in some of the courses I've taught in the past. I would definitely put this on my syllabus as a book to read because there's many aspects and um, many topics to really dive into um, in this book. So I highly recommend it. And I also recommend you read it with a friend uh, because you will find out that this book will allow you to maybe have conversations that you haven't had. And on one hand, you may think, do I need to have these conversations if my friendship's going fine? But also what I found from this book is that even though these conversations were difficult um, for Jen and Riley, um, they were needed. And it gave them an insight into uh, each other and their viewpoints and their thoughts. Um, so check out, we are not like them and reach out in the comments and let me know what you think.